What's your baseball philosophy? What gets you so far? What, why are you where you're at? Do you believe in something or what What got you so far in My baseball? baseball? Uh, I think it starts a lot with hard work, desire, uh, you know, determination. The, you know, I think uh, you, got, you got to have a passion to play the game. Um, you know, in the middle of my career, I found faith in God and Jesus Christ. And uh, I can honestly tell you that I would not be here today without him. Now, it seems that times guys that get drafted in the higher rounds, they're getting passed up in the organization after a couple years by guys drafted in the later rounds. Why does that happen? Um, I don't know. I haven't even paid attention or taken notes to that. I don't know. Um, you know I think uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what round you get drafted if you can put up numbers and, and uh, you know, do the things that they want you to do to move up to the system, then you're going to get a chance for the opportunity. Now, spring training, they bring in more guys to compete for your spot. You may show up and there may be 10 guys standing around you. How do you approach that? Um, it's something you can't worry about. You know, it's not under your control who makes who goes where, who makes the team, whatnot. Um, you start dwelling on that. A lot of negative thoughts come in your mind that affects you on the baseball field. So, um, when that happens, you encounter some things like that, you just focus on it. Focus on yourself, worry about the things you control, and that's working hard, you know, preparing each day, um, whether it's in the weight room, in the cage before practice, you know, whatever you're doing that day in practice and in the games, focus on what you can do to bring to the table, and not what other people are, are doing. Now, is there a time so far in your career you wanted to quit baseball? Yeah, 2007. Um, I got about 15, 18 days in the big leagues the year before 2006. I was in double A. Um, having some struggles, worrying about things that I couldn't control, um, allowing it to affect me on the baseball field. And, um, you know, some things that happened. I basically ended up getting promoted to A ball from double A. And, um, you know, some things were said that didn't come true. Um, and I let that affect me on the baseball field. I started struggling in A ball. And uh, I wanted to quit after that year. But, you know, again, I wanted to. I, I, never wanted to quit anything I do, um, you know, as far as even taking pride and, um, you know, if I start a game I want to finish it, no matter what kind of injury I might incur during the game, I'd do whatever I can to stay in the game. Um, you know, so I wasn't going to allow myself to quit baseball, and uh, that offseason before 2008, you know, my relationship with God really grew, and I knew that, um, you know, I stopped worrying about things that I could and started focusing on him, allowing him to take those pressures off of my shoulders, lift those burdens off of my shoulders. Just, you know, put all my full trust in him, and if it wasn't meant to be, he would have told me. Had a decent 2008, got up to the big leagues, and did it until this year. Have you read the scout reports or Baseball America or what people write about you after games and stuff? Uh, not really. They don't really ever write about me, so um, nothing to read about myself. But um, you know, I'll, like, I'll skip to the sports section. I try to stay with crossword puzzles. I like uh, I like doing those crossword puzzles. What would you tell a high school kid about professional baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about before you started? Uh, it's a grind. Um, I mean, I, I guess I did get told that, but you know, you don't fully understand how much of a grind it really is in the minor leagues. And, you know, and I don't think you'll ever understand what it's like until you experience it. But um, you know, again, going back to the first question, you've got to have passion for this game. If you want to still stick to this game, you want to you really you want to get to the big league level, or you want to be the best possible baseball player. You you got to have a passion to be able to, um, to, to stick to this kind of uh, you know, lifestyle. Uh, you know, grinding it out every day. It, it, it's a battle. You know, it's a battle that you, you play definitely within your own head a lot of times. Um, it's up to you whether or not you want to allow it to affect you on, on the field or not.